Hello everyone and welcome to 2017 really. So we're currently uh, on my creative server, <laughs> if you guys don't know. And I have a bunch of announcements uh, to do this time, which reminds me that I probably should make more uh, uh, announcements more frequently uh, because <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have to, to talk about, about so much thing so much different things so yeah let's start by telling you guys about uh 2016 it was not the best year for my channel i basically uh stopped it, uh, doing anything related to youtube in the first half of the year uh like 1.10 was really really disappointing for me minecraft was almost over for me for a while and uh, i changed my mind uh, uh 111 uh, kind of fixed it a lot of things but I'm still not uh, satisfied with Minecraft which is the main thing I do uh, on my channel but it was enough for me to come back and get some motivation but the main thing was you guys I didn't expect to come back and see a lot of people giving me positive feedback and that's what I got and as a result I'm definitely back and wanting to uh, do things and change things do doing things better you know so what is it to be expected uh, from this channel uh, in 2017? So first of all, um, the redstone tutorials. Uh, of course, you guys are gonna get the redstone tutorials. What is happening with my chunk loading? Let me, 24 chunks. Maybe I should load less chunks. I don't know. Uh, okay, sorry guys. So yeah, of course, we're gonna keep uh, the redstone tutorials. Uh, especially now with the observer blocks they're just amazing and I feel motivated to do a lot of things with those those new blocks uh, all the things we were able to do like uh, look at this this is a hipster door uh, and now I believe that the, the basic hipster door is going to be three high instead of two high only from now on just because the observer blocks make it possible uh, yeah, we use it to do whatever we wanted uh, with piston doors and uh, from from above. Like we have multiple piston extenders coming from above and doing most of the work because it was unbalanced. And now we still uh, get to keep the buds, but we have the observer block, so we can do more things with the bottom sections of our piston doors, and this is going to be amazing. We have so so much more possibilities now, and I believe that advanced redstoners will do. I don't know they they will they will go to the town you know <laughs> if i get the expression right they're 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 going to be to do amazing things uh all right oh is this broken i hope not i have to i have to control myself not to flip ever ever i have around here so yeah i also want to include something new this year uh which is a few command block tools uh i don't intend to do any command block tutorials i don't think i am uh even qualified to do that but i will definitely release some command block tools because i think that those things are going to be useful i really like vanilla and those are things that you can do in vanilla oh this door broke oh no this is a shame i really love this door okay and uh you guys i just gave you guys uh one example uh just recently when i published my uh vanilla uh map editing tool recently there's a video uh, on it if you guys want to, want to check it out there's a link in the video description as well and i really recommend you guys uh, checking this out because uh, this tool is really amazing makes everything easy it has terrain generation and a lot of other tools to to help you change your map uh, very quickly and efficiently so yeah i have a big project uh, related to this uh, on my patreon as well which is something i will talk more about uh, in a few minutes uh what else uh we have uh the challenges you guys seem to love the challenges so we are definitely going to have more of those uh, this year and i'm also introducing uh, a new thing which is the mini challenges so i decided to randomly uh, challenge people for a small a small build recently on twitter and this is why on every single video I ask you guys to follow me on Twitter because I'm I'm very active there. I and there there are things that I will never never publish on my channel. There is no room for it. I will not make an entire video and publish on your sub subscription box for such simple things, but I'm always 
publishing those uh, simple things uh, on Twitter. So, and there's this, if you're not following me on Twitter, you're missing on that. So there's a mini challenges now. And from time to time, I will just post the mini challenges and you guys can post pictures to me on Twitter. It's very, very easy for communication and I am active every day there, basically. So keep that in mind. Um, I also have to mention uh, this server. Yeah, the server was created and managed managed by uh, me and Siberian Hat since the beginning. Uh, and we have a couple of guys joined here. Uh, if you don't know, uh, though, those are the guys who joined us since the beginning. And uh, yeah, this is completely vanilla, no mods here. So everything you build here is supposed to work uh, in vanilla. This is the main idea here. And the way you get in. Uh, with this server is you get invited and to get invited you have to go through a challenge a specific challenge designed for you and if you're good enough you can join the server so uh, this is this was a really really nice idea this is a very hat plot by the way <laughs> and this was this was a great experience really really great experience uh, doing this uh, building this server with Siberia hat and uh, doing this thing and while we built this thing, we always thought that if we got um, more uh, another supporter, because this this is supported by Creeper Host, actually this server here, but we always wanted to get more support and build yet another server, but a public server uh, with all the tools that we have that makes uh, life easier, makes life easier for you guys, but a public server where basically everyone can join. And I plan on doing that. I plan on uh, making another creative server uh, but this is probably going to come from patreon if i get supporters there so stay tuned <laughs> if you want to, to help you can and if you want to join the server you also can but we will have to see how things are are going to work uh, yeah for this to finally be finally uh, be accomplished um, uh, about other games of course i I enjoy playing other games other than Minecraft. Sometimes I publish them. I don't ha I don't get many views since my channel is still small, but I do enjoy playing them. That's why I publish something like uh, about them. I definitely need uh, to finish the HRM series, the Human Resource Machine series. I have played the, played uh, the entire game already. Um, like ages ago but I never published the videos and there are some videos that I have I already uh, recorded but I have never uh, released uh, anything on them uh, and uh, I have played Infinity Factory as well which is a game I really love and I want to publish a lot of uh, a lot of videos on those and I also want to talk about uh, the solutions I came up with because I tried to um, on purpose make crazy crazy solutions uh, for for the the puzzles. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy the series on the Infinity Factory. Uh, what else? I have the Bridget series to finish. I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't I didn't uh, uh, publish more videos on the, the, the Infinite Bridge project. I should really have done that and I plan on coming back to that series uh, this year at least publish a few more videos there are some advanced things there that are really hard to do so I'm not sure I can beat the game but for sure I will publish more videos for you guys um, maybe and that's a big maybe I will start doing uh, civilization because this is just another game that I really love and that's all I'm gonna say uh, there are other games, but I, I don't need to mention them. Uh, I probably can mention more about them uh, in the future. So, what else do I have to talk about? Yes, there's this new thing that I would like to be the big thing on my channel now, but I'm not sure if this is going to work. I want to start a single player series. Um, first of all, I've always wanted to do a single player series. For I have been wanting to do that uh, for years, but the thing is, I prefer to play on servers but uh, servers I, I don't know they, they have this this little problem that uh, they reset and I'm, I'm completely fine with that uh, with resetting servers but I need one long-term project I would like to have a map for myself that I I reset it if I want and when I want and I probably want <laughs> do that you know and uh, I have played on other servers and 
sometimes and on some of them uh, I got invited to play and sometimes I went to pro a process like a competitive process to try and join the server and I don't know if I want to go through that experience anymore because um, when you compete to to join a server it's cool I got picked but it's not the same thing and the, the, the kind of interaction that you have with the people because when you when you join a server like this uh, people have to passively uh, accept you and it's not the same thing as actively being invited uh, to join a server so uh, if I play in servers it's probably a server where I am very interested in and I am being invited so yeah people really want to do things with me and I don't have to do a kind of single player series on a multiplayer server so this is all I have to say about it um, and the, the main reason uh, actually why I want a single player series is to, to concentrate on things that I like mostly uh, have control over everything and uh, and actually have a closer interactions uh, a close interaction with my subscribers and my viewers of course um, you know uh, when uh, when you have a channel that's mostly focused uh, on redstone tutorials you don't get a chance to talk to people because you have to be objective on a tutorial so people are there with you know <laughs> they, they want something and you, you don't get to stall you don't get to talk about your ideas so you keep it all to yourself so I feel like I need a closer interaction, uh, a closer interaction with my my viewers, and uh, the way to do that is to talk about other things other than the game itself. I mean, even talking about the, the game updates, uh, redstone mechanisms, uh, other things that go on, new games. Um, I don't know, even politics. I, I don't know any, anything that crosses my mind, anything that's fun, uh, the minecon, uh, other games. T talking about general stuff. And you don't get a chance to do that when you and when all you do is tutorials. Uh, this is why I want uh, a place where I can um, just talk about whatever I want, do time lapses, and of course build uh, the things I want. And I want my my single player series to be very very much collaborative. So I'm going to build things that you guys recommend, uh, things that you guys probably build like. Hey, why don't I build a a tree farm uh, made by someone else, or a pumpkin farm made by someone else? Why don't I build a multiple uh, uh, multiple tree farms? I don't know, something like that. I, I want this to be very interactive, uh, getting designs from you guys and building them multiple times and doing things like that, experimenting, doing things that are not efficient, and then doing something that is very efficient but with my, my focus being having fun, doing things that make us laugh and having a great time. And even possibly, I, 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 can't, I can't ensure that, but possibly doing live streams as well. But I'm not sure, I have no experience with live streams, so I'm not sure how well I will do on this area. Uh, and finally, I have to mention my, my Patreon project. Uh, because if I don't, nobody will, <laughs> nobody will, so I have to help myself and talk about Patreon. So Patreon is a platform uh, where you can basically finance uh, uh, any anyone you want and, and if they have a project you are interested in. And the way it changes things is uh, you take uh, everything more professionally. And when someone takes uh, whatever they do more professionally, you can expect great things to come. Out of this so this is this is why I have a uh, patreon campaign and of course there are the rewards so if you if you finance anyone if you donate money or whatever on patreon you get the rewards uh, or in my case one of the the basic rewards is that you get promoted on my channel so people will hear about our channel so if your channel is smaller than mine you probably want to be promoted by my channel and things like that you know and all the other rewards are uh, related to join the the future server because I need some income to to pay for a server or to at least grow my channel and ask for more um, for more sponsorship you know this is how things work otherwise I I, I I can't I can't do 
I can't do that by myself, so so I need that, that kind of thing. So if you want to know more about the rewards you can get by by pledging something on Patreon, uh, just check the video description and there's there are links there that will take you to my page and then you can read uh, all my arguments and the things I believe are worth uh, in this area. So I also related to that I want to to revive the Infinite Bridge project. The Infinite Bridge project was something uh, was something I did uh, in the past very shortly, unfortunately, but it was very successful. And I never talked about that, but the only reason why I stopped it is because the guys wanted to reset the server. <laughs> Once again, uh, uh, server rules. So uh, maybe it was a mistake from me, I should have done that project on single player, but when I, the amount of work I put into that project and the, the great feedback I got out of it, I, I believe that that was my big chance and I just blew it when I just made it on a server that got reset. And the worst of all, after resetting the server, everybody basically got demotivated. So they wanted to reset the server and when they finally did it, nobody wanted to play. So that lasted for one month and I lost my, my biggest project of all. So I really regret that and the Infinite Bridge project was a great thing. And I don't know, maybe I'm talking too much about the past and I don't know if the Infinite Bridge project will ever work again. I don't know if this project will be a solid thing, but I really wish it will and I will try to. So, um, in my single player map now I can do whatever I, I want and I will try to revive the Infinite Bridge project and I really hope this is going to be successful because this project is just great and I really love doing that and putting the, the large, huge, insanely amount of work that I, that I did there and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, once again, links in the video description. And I think I talked uh, about most things now, so uh, maybe I should show you guys the seed I'm picking for my single player. Okay guys, uh, this is the map, this is the seed I'm currently interested in, and uh, the, the cool thing about it is right there, so there is this mansion thing, uh, I'm not sure what the official name for this is. Um, I am not aware of exactly what the mobs inside it can do, though those things are all too new for me and I have been more focused on redstone lately so I don't know much about the new survival mechanics. I know that we have polar bears since 1.10 I guess, but I don't know much else so this is going to be really exciting and new things to see. Even, even though those things are not so new, they are new to me because I haven't uh, been so tuned uh, with those things. So I think this is a good idea, I'm not the best builder, so it would be a great idea, great help to be able to have this house as my first house. And I'm really, really bad at fighting mobs, so this is going to be a real challenge for me, believe me. And apparently uh, passive mobs can spawn on top of this thing, which is really weird, because I expected those guys to spawn on top of grass. <laughs> so I don't know what they're doing here, but yeah, that's okay. So uh, yeah, this is the seed I found to be the, more, the most interesting uh, to play with. Uh, whenever I start a new survival server, I always try to find a good seed and I have no reason to do the same thing uh, on single player. But of course, this is not definitive and I am accepting su suggestions. So if you guys uh, know of better seeds, that you think would be good, uh, I will also check those out and maybe I will play on the seed you suggest to me. This can all happen. Um, other things, I don't know the, uh, what the name of the series should be, I definitely want something unique for the name of my series, I don't know, like my Zuma single player or um, Fernland. <laughs> I, I really don't know guys. So uh, please, if you want, if you're interested in following me uh, in this journey, I will accept uh, your suggestions, of course. And uh, I have great plans for this. This is just a start. Don't, don't think that I'm cheating by trying to get this house for myself. Uh, we have a lot, thing, a lot of things to do. We need to expand through the ocean. We need to build a lot of farms, multiple farms, multiple farms of the same. 
uh, we need to build other buildings we need we need we need to get resources we need everything so this is just a start and this is a long-term project I don't I don't uh, intend to ever end this series so this is something that must be going on I'll do my best uh, to keep my drive and keep publishing uh, ep episodes at least once a week for you guys and with all the other things I mentioned before so the resident tutorials and everything nothing will change and of course if I have the support from you guys uh, on patreon that would be amazing as well because I would be able to take this more professionally which is something I really desire for my channel um, I can provide the seed for you guys it's in the video description if you want to check this out and of course uh, suggestions once again are very welcome uh, you can do that on Twitter as well by sending me pictures and things like that so please don't forget to follow me on Twitter since I have came back to publishing videos I get 100 new followers guys this is amazing this is truly amazing and I got I get a lot of a lot more interaction there and this is been great so far so yeah I think this is it for this video uh, I mean okay now this is the correct mode to be and uh, well thank you very much for watching this video I hope that this was useful and I hope to get some comments and some more interaction for you guys so thank you very much and see you guys soon bye